What is going on guys and welcome back to another video. Climate change is making people think twice about having children. This comes from CNBC. Oh, so this is uh, an interesting one. Analysts, analysts at Morgan Stanley said they're not to investors last month that the movement to not have children owing to fears of climate change is growing and impacting fertility rates quicker than any preceding trend in the field of fertility decline. Some people are choosing not to have children because they fear that doing so will amplify global warming while others are concerned about extreme weather events their children may have to endure and a knock-on effect. Over the last few years, climate change, the climate has definitely been the major contributor to us not wanting children, Daniel told CNBC. Pressing that his surname be left out of the story of fees that it might be targeted online by people who disagree with him. Oh, I can understand why he would be in fear of that. While a growing number of people are reluctant to bring a child into a world that's set to be ravaged by climate change in the coming decades. And now this is not like a stupid prosperous thing. Um, I can't remember what it was, but there was a report... Um. I don't know, a few months ago, and there was also another recent report a few days ago that stated that there's going to be severe effects for climate change. Um, I don't know whether it was targeted by the whole... Oh, well, it actually says in here, the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change's report on Monday said global temperatures are likely to rise by 1.5 degrees Celsius in the next two decades, exceeding the target of the Paris Agreement, a landmark accord considered Critically important to reduce the risk of climate catastrophe. Scientists' increasingly bleak outlook for the future of the planet is putting more and more people off having children. Um, part of that report stated that because of the increase in the temperature, um, more extreme flooding and more heat waves are going to come. That's just going to be a natural effect. It's going to be more extreme weather, storms, whether it's flooding, whether it's heat waves, etc it's just going to get worse, and that has been seen. Um, in the UK, we have had extreme heat waves. In America, they have had extreme, extreme heat waves. Greece has had wildfires, um, you know, and this is 2021, and over the next two decades, it's going to get worse. That's a fact. Um... And I can understand why people are worried. I'm not personally worried enough not to have kids, but I am certainly worried that, you know, it's really going to start affecting the world in a negative way. Um, and if we don't do something now, then it's going to be a lot worse. But despite the argument, they point to surveys, academic research, and Google data that shows climate change is directly and indirectly accelerating the decline in fertility rates. UCLA researchers showed that the number of births in the U.S. fell in the nine months after an extreme heat wave event, while a study of 18,000 couples in China last year showed that climate change and particulate, particulate pollution in particular was associated with 20% increased likelihood of infertility. Some people are chosen not to have children because they fear that they do so will amplify global warming. Having a child is seven times worse for climate change and CO2 emissions annually. Then the next 10 most discussed mitigants that individuals can do, analysts at Morgan Stanley said. A Swedish study published in IOP Science in 2017 found that having one fewer child per family could save approximately 5.86 metric tons of carbon each year in developed countries. Um, however, Kimberly Nicholas, one of the studies also said in an interview, this year, that reduced population is not a way to solve the climate crisis. It is true that more people will consume more resources and cause more greenhouse gas emissions, he said. But that's not really the relevant time frame for actually establish, for actually stabilizing the climate, given that we have this decade to cut emissions in half. Which is a point. But I feel like, hmm, more needs to be done, done right? more needs to be done by governments. They need to get round to doing it. And um, it's all right having this argument of going, oh, well, we need to stop using fossil fuels, we need to have electric cars. Problem is, it isn't having an electric car. 
it is you need a system in place to use an electric car. And like in the UK, the system just isn't there. Not outside the most major cities. Like if you live in London, then having an electric car is a feasible thing. But outside of London and the further north you go, having an electric car isn't something that necessarily similar to do. Charging stations are pretty hard to find. And with the different standards in car models, sometimes you can't even charge a car at certain charging stations. You have to go to other ones. So really what needs to be done is more, you know, we need to go to more renewable energy resources. And also with that, we need to have systems in place where, you know, electric buses, electric cars, switching from gas, you know, to other sources of heating, etc. But also you need to stabilize the system as well so we don't have power cuts and stuff. There's a lot that needs to be done. and. To get emissions down, we need to really, really think about how we are going to achieve that. And part of doing that is making sure that people can make a conscious switch, that they can help reduce emissions, that governments can help reduce emissions by actually building sustainable infrastructure that allows us to progress and actually do this in a way that will work because currently there isn't and it seems to be we're at this point where we need change now but we're waiting we're waiting we're waiting we're talking about all these things of getting rid of um gas powered cars switching totally over to electric about you know but all these targets they're for mid 2020s uh, 2030, 2035 in some places, 2040 in other places, and you, it needs to happen sooner, not later. But it's just one of those things. Let me know what you think down below about this. I think it's a bit extreme to not have children. I think that at this time is going too far. That's just too much of an extreme response. I can understand the fears, but I think. You know, we're not at that point. That's something that's a ways away. But I do think the lack of progress that's really being made significantly is something that we should be concerned about. That governments aren't really putting a major priority on this and saying we need to get this done now, not in five years, not in 10 years, not in 15 years. We need to start hitting these targets. Now, we need to start making sure we do the switch. Now, we need more now. You know, whether it's geothermal power, whether it's solar power, whether it's wind power, you know, whatever is suitable for our energy and, and building the infrastructure that needs to be done sooner. I think that's the problem. But let me know what you guys think. Um, Like, comment, follow, uh, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one.